Good Morning Miramar, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m., right here, right now. Good morning, Miramar, and welcome. Thank you all for tuning in. Today is Thursday, May the 17th. We have a wonderful show planned for you today. First, we'll be joined by Mrs. Namia Khan Ghani, who's here today to discuss the 2018 Ramadan Iftar dinner hosted by Vice Mayor Yvette Colburn. Afterwards, we will be joined by some very special guests to talk about Miramar Day, Craig Newman from Macy's, who's going to share a per his participation in this weekend's event, as well as our host, Cello Cello. Be sure to comment on our live stream on Facebook or dial into our program by calling us at 1-877-2-MIRAMAR. That's 1-877-264-7262. The weather for today, Thursday, May the 17th, will bring partly cloudy skies and some rain. The high temperature will be 81 degrees and the low will be 73 degrees. We're so excited to announce that Mayor Wayne Messam, Commissioner Darlene Riggs, and the Council General, Stefan Gillies, cordially invite you to celebrate Haitian Flag Day in Miramar. Join us today, Thursday, May the 17th, at our Miramar Cultural Center, located at 2400 Civic Center Place, for this free event. Beginning at 5.30 p.m., you'll actually have a chance to experience an art gallery exhibition reception featuring Haiti, Too Rich to Be Poor, Identity. Artist Zeke Mathias will be speaking, and then afterwards at 7 p.m., jazz artist Jean Kays and Amia will be performing with, along with a spoken word performance by Berwick underscore Augustine. To get your free tickets today, please visit miramarculturalcenter.org. As a reminder, come out and conquer the world. Celebrate our city's birthday with an international tour. Miramar J is happening this Saturday, May the 19th from 5 to 10 p.m. at the Miramar Amp, located at Miramar Regional Park, 16801 Miramar Parkway. The day's events include live entertainment by Regina Bell, Oro Solido, Kev, Willie Stewart with Rhythm, Rhythms of Africa, and a Kid Zone, an international tour, international vendors serving food and great souvenirs, and so much more. There will also be a fantastic parade featuring acts representing countries such as China, India, and the Bahamas. Attendees will receive passports that they can use to be stamped at each of our vendors. Once these passports are stamped and the more stamps that are received, there will be a greater chance to win some amazing prizes. Some of these prizes include a trip or a night out in Miramar. You don't want to miss this free event. Register for free today at miramarday2018.eventbrite.com. The Miramar Community Garden is looking for some willing volunteers for a tree planting pop-up day, Saturday, June 2nd at our Miramar Community Garden, which is located at 3700 Largo Drive in Miramar. Trees and shrubs, including banana, berries, cacao, pomegranate, and coffee will be planted in our garden to add to our existing fruit grove. Volunteers will plant alongside special guests, which include Fruit Tree Planting Foundation Programs Manager, Lizzie Rainey, and the lead arborist, Rico Montenegro. Afterwards, with this rewarding work complete, participants will enjoy a delicious lunch and an informative lecture from Mr. Montenegro himself about how to plant trees for success. To volunteer for this event or any of our upcoming events here at our Miramar Community Garden, please visit handsonbrower.org or call 954-602-3270. Calling all dads. The city of Miramar is celebrating Father's Day this year in a big way. Join us Saturday, June 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Miramar Town Center for the ultimate man cave experience. You'll have your chance to meet and greet with professional athletes, check out a great car show, enjoy barbecue, brews, massages, a barber grooming, and so much more. This event is just $5 per person. Space is limited, so be sure to register today at fathersdaymancave.eventbrite.com. Vice Mayor Yvette Colburn is inviting our homeowners, you to our Homeowners Association Roundtable discussion Thursday, June 7th from 6 to 9 p.m. at the Miramar Cultural Center. This networking event will provide homeowner associations, condominium associations, crime watch groups, as well as property management groups an opportunity to hear important legislative updates, as well as an opportunity to communicate their needs and concerns. 
For more information on this roundtable or to RSVP, you can call 954-602-3143 or 954-602-3131. You can also email ycolburn at miramarfl.gov. Join us for Caribbean Comedy Night hosted by Major Hype, the Caribbean King of Comedy, Friday, June 29th at the Miramar Cultural Center. This fantastic show will feature top comedic talent from Jamaica, Barbados, and more in an unforgettable evening of hilarity. Comedian Rohan Gunter, more popular known as Gunta Na Laugh, Nikki Crosby, the first female stand-up comedian in the Caribbean, and Chris Johnny Daly will have you laughing your socks off. Grab your tickets today by visiting miramarculturalcenter.org. And as a reminder, there are still spaces at many of our summer camps, so please be sure to get your child registered today. For more information, you can visit our website at miramarfl.gov. Now that's all we have for City News this morning. So I would like to reintroduce our first guest. We have Ms. Namiya Kangani, who's here today to tell us a little bit about the 2018 Ramadan Iftar dinner hosted by Vice Mayor Yvette Colburn in Miramar. So thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Danielle, so much for having me. It's okay. certainly a pleasure. Thank you. Now, before we get into all the details about the event, I'd like you to just tell us a little bit about yourself, um, how you're serving our community, and all of that great information. Well, it's certainly, I've been living in Miramar for the past 30 years. It's actually the only home that I know after migrating from Trinidad. Um, I've been doing community service ever since I moved here. I am the board member of an organization called Friends of Humanity International, and we do a lot of uh, community work, both locally, nationally, and internationally. Recently, we teamed up with the food pantry at um, the Miramar Multicultural Center. Yes. So we do uh, monthly, we always check in with them to see if they need us, you know, food supplies, whether it's uh, hygiene products, or actually non-perishable items. So we've uh, partnered with them, and on a monthly basis, we provide uh, services, whether it's the non-perishable items or the personal hygiene products. So we become partners with them. Uh, so we try to do give back to the community as much as we can, starting with home, which is Miramar, and we move out and we help, whether it's the homeless feeding or we do things at a national level and international level. We do things with the uh, Rohingyan refugee camps, and we send um, food supplies and uh, you know help with the orphan children at the Rohingyan camps, and we send things for the families, food supplies. We uh, collect, we fundraise for the children at the camps, so they can buy food supplies, they can buy toys and gifts coming up for the Ramadan that is coming up now, so they can get items that, so they can have you know a joyous festive occasion at the end. Absolutely, that's wonderful. Now, besides all of this amazing yes. volunteer work you do, you're also a teacher. Tell us a little bit about that. So I've been teaching, I taught at Miramar Schools and Henry D. Perry Middle School before it uh, closed down for the past 14 years. And I currently teach at MacArthur High School. I'm a math teacher, Algebra 1. And um, I've been teaching for the past 15 years. Um, I, I love teaching, education. What actually inspired me is I love diversity and I love integration. So I've been actually working with students across Broward County. Uh, we formed something recently about two years ago called the Broward County Council of Muslim Students Association, mm -hmm. which is one of the inspirations for the program that is actually coming up uh, next week, where we have the Muslim Students Association, we have 13 schools actually come together to form this council that the School Board of Proud County uh, recognizes. That's amazing. Now, we have a wonderful event coming up here in Miramar that was pretty much birthed from an idea that you had, and I do want to get into those details. But before we get into that, I'd just like you to explain to our viewers who might not know um, what it is, what Ramadan, the season of Ramadan is in the Islamic culture, as well as Iftar, if you can explain that to us. So Ramadan is a month of fasting. It is a month where it's not just staying away from food. So people usually think, you know, it's a time, it's, it's starving, it's, it's a time for you to diet, it's a time for you to just, it's not about the food. Actually, it's a time for you to, to, to self-reflect. It's mm -hmm. about 
spiritual and physical development. So it's a time for you to think of how another person would feel without doing, you know, without food. So it's for you to think about what a homeless person would feel. So you're actually putting yourself in another person's position. So you think of other people other than yourselves. Absolutely. So it's a time for you to self-reflect and think of other people. It's a time for you to do as many good things as possible for that month. And it's a time for you to, you know, kind of give back to your community. So it's, it's a rewarding month. So it is the month that, you know, every Muslim kind of looks forward to. You kind of, the whole year, you wait for that month to Absolutely. come because it's, it's rewarding for you. So this is the time that you find every Muslim would come out of the woodwork, actually, because if you don't do anything for the whole year, that's the time that you come out and you, you see Muslim from everywhere. You find, oh, yeah, now you have a Muslim community that's very, very uh, vibrant. So that's the time that they come out and they sort of, so cleanse themselves and purify for the whole year. So they sort of um, think of, uh, they stay away from, you know, every religion has some form of fasting. Absolutely. But in Islam, in, in, as a Muslim, it's not just staying away from the food and drink. You, it, you do that from dawn to sunset. Mm -hmm. So you, nothing, absolutely nothing can go down. So you're not eating or drinking anything at all. So you're not just staying away, you know, from one thing. You know, different religions will say, okay, so we're, not, we're giving up something that you, you don't like. Right. You're actually giving up everything. So not just the food but you fast with your entire body. So you're fasting with your words, you're fasting with your eyes, your tongue, your hands, your feet. So it's you, you're careful of the things that you say, the things that you're looking at, the things that you're listening to. So your entire body is in that fasting mode, not just about the food. Absolutely. And that's, um, that's you taught me a lot in, in this moment. I'm sure that a, a lot of our viewers learned so much as well, so I appreciate you for sharing that. Now. Iftar mm -hmm. comes also mm -hmm. with Ramadan. Tell us what that's, that means. So the word Iftar is at the end. It's the meal that you share at the end of the day. So at the sunset, you break the fast. Mm -hmm. So in the morning, you have the breakfast around 5.30. But you know, the time varies because we go from dawn to sunset. Yes. So the Iftar is the meal that you have at the end of the day to break the fast. So that's the meal that we share at the end at sunset. So this brings us to the event that we're having, which is the iftar dinner. So the iftar is a meal that we have at the end of the day. Beautiful. So this sounds like a beautiful um, way to just celebrate Ramadan and really bring our entire mm -hmm. community together around that breaking of the fast. So we're really excited to share those event details. But before we get into that, tell us how um, event M Vice Mayor Colburn got involved with hosting this event in this Miramar and how you kind of brought the idea to her? Well, this goes back a long way. Ever since she, she started running for election quite a few years ago, she came knocking on my, on my uh, door when she first started running. And um, we developed a bond. I don't know. It was just a special bond. Something clicked many, many years ago. And we developed a very special relationship. And when this uh, school board of Broward County began, the, they first initiated the idea last year of uh, proclaiming American Muslim Heritage Month, the idea dawned on me if the school board of Broward County can proclaim May as American Heritage Month, then why not the city of America? Because I'm always looking to see what can my home city do for Muslims? Because mm -hmm. we always get the bad rap. You know, I mean, it's, it's no secret that the media and, and society misunderstands Muslims and they misunderstand the religion of Islam. So my objective is to go out there in, in whatever little way that I can Absolutely. and portray a positive outlook and a positive perspective, do whatever little that I, can, that I can as an individual. So I thought to myself, how can I make this? How can my city, my hometown, what can I do? So I said, you know what, let me approach Vice, well, she was commissioner then. Why don't I approach her and see what can we do as the city of Miramar? So I picked up the phone, I called her, and she said, okay, set up an appointment, let's talk about it. She was very accommodating, very opening, and she said, okay, let's go ahead and let's see what we can do. Worked out the details, she was very, um, she was very you know, let's go, let's, uh, accommodating to the idea, she said, let's, let's have it. You know, so I was 
I was in awe. I did not expect her to say yes right away. Let's go and have it. So I was just very overwhelmed, overjoyed, and I, I was just like uh, um, equating it to the White House has, has a, as an iftar. Why not have the city of Miramar and this grand gesture? Let's have an iftar at the city hall. And she was like, okay, let's go for it. So that's where the idea was born last year. So this year again, you know, she readily agreed as the vice mayor of the city of Miramar. Let's go ahead and we'll be continuing now in our second annual uh, Ramadan iftar dinner. Okay. And she's very accommodating and inclusive and really holds up to Miramar being one and inclusive of everyone. So I'm very grateful that she was, you know, that she is actually the leader that she is. Absolutely. And I love that, you know, our commissioners and our vice mayor, as well as our mayor, really celebrates that inclusivity that right. you mentioned and all of the cultures represented here mm -hmm. in Miramar. So it's very exciting. That's actually next Wednesday. Yes, May it 23rd, is. May 23rd mm -hmm. from 7 to 9.30. Correct at our Miramar Cultural Center that's located at 2400 Civic Center Place. So for those interested in attending, um, and I know we talked about this before the show, but if we could reiterate to our audience, if you're not Muslim, but you're just interested in learning more about you know, the experience of an iftar dinner, are, they're able to attend as well, correct? They need to RSVP, and the number that they can call is 954-298-4061. And I must reiterate that they do need to RSVP. Seating is limited, and um, I mean we would l we would hate to turn anyone away, but they must RSVP because seating I must mention is limited. It is open, you know, for everyone. We want love to share the experience. is open to Muslims and non-Muslims, and we would love to share the experience with everyone. Yes, and um, as Namia mentioned, this event is a sponsored, co-sponsored event, so you need to RSVP to go ahead and attend. Thank you so much for having me on the program. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Now we're going to take a quick commercial break, but when we return, we'll be hearing from Craig Newman from Nacy's about their participation at Miramar Day, as well as our host, Cello Cello. Stay tuned. Celebrate Miramar Day with cultures from around the world. Save the date, Saturday, May 19th from 5 to 10 p.m. at the Miramar Amp at Miramar Regional Park, 16801 Miramar Parkway. Enjoy a free concert and cultural festivities for the whole family. Presented by Memorial Hospital Miramar.
Good morning, Miramar, and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to the second portion of Good Morning Miramar. We're so excited to be joined this morning by Mr. Craig Newman. He is here from Macy's to talk to us all about their participation at Miramar Day 2018 and all the exciting finds that you can find at their fashion truck. We'll also be chatting a little bit with Cello Cello, who is here as well, our host for Miramar Day. So we're very excited to have you both on the show. Good morning. Good morning. So Miramar Day is happening this week, and I feel like we've been talking about this international tour for weeks now, and we're so excited that it's finally here and going to be coming to fruition. So Craig, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit. First, tell us a little bit about what you do and how what you do for Macy's and kind of how we got involved together. Well, first of all, I want to say happy 63rd birthday, yes, Miramar. Yes, happy birthday, Miramar. Um, so I am the community outreach coordinator for Macy's in the South region, mm -hmm. um, or South District, I should say. And I just go out, you know, help go out into the community and look for different ways that we can participate to show that Macy's is a part of the community and show our lower brand loyalists that, you know, we're here and we want to have fun with them too, wherever they go. Absolutely. And Cello Cello, we are so excited to have you as well. You're our host. For Miramar Day, you've hosted this, some other mm -hmm. events, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Um, this is my second year, so I'm happy to be back again, because last year was amazing. I know this year is going to be ten times amazing again. Yes, absolutely. Now, Craig, tell us a little bit, what is the Macy's Fashion Truck? Well, the Macy's Fashion Truck is a mobile pop-up experience. So, we find different festivals, um, parks to go to, like where food trucks maybe go to, a uh, concert, uh, maybe even or things like Miramar Day, uh, where it's just you're just having a good celebration, and we provide that mobile pop up experience. Because what's better than like going to the store? It's like you don't have to ship it; it's instantaneous. You have it there, and it shows that Macy's is a part of the community, also. Absolutely. Now, you know Macy's Aventura, which is kind of like the store where we went and we kind of met and spoke, has an inventory like no other <laughs> yes. if you haven't been you need to go. second to Herald Square <laughs> yes so we're excited that you're just bringing a piece of that to Miramar and really giving our residents an opportunity to say hey you know I'm at this event I don't necessarily have to go to the mall but I can still get all of my summer finds and checked out exactly this event. and we're happy we're happy to participate we're actually very excited to participate it's been ongoing and I'm so happy you guys reached out to me to say that we can be there for you absolutely now so this year's event is an international tour so we're expecting some kind of international merchandise tell us a little bit about the merchandise that Macy's will be featuring okay so I brought some um, some merchandise here today actually yes. so some of the merchandise we're gonna have is our cosmetic and fragrances uh, basically anything whenever you whenever you go out of town you always want to have your special cosmetic fragrance but you want to make sure it comes with a travel set so something like maybe even the lotion that fixes uh, your luggage but then also won't be taken by TSA so under your 3.4 ounces yes and then we're also gonna have like it comes with your big your big set also um, and then the travel fragrance too, so you can take that with you when you're on the go, especially when you don't want to check, check luggage these days. Absolutely, and what I like about this is I've always been told when you're traveling, you should always buy a signature scent to take with you so that you remember your trip by because scents are exactly. associated with memory. So this is a good opportunity, everyone, for summertime if you have your vacation plan but you don't have your signature scent to hold on to that memory to check out the Macy's fashion truck so you can get that taken care of exactly so we'll have those gift sets there also what's in we have um right next to you, we have fanny packs they're making a comeback fanny packs are back we are here and we're announcing it on good morning miramar <laughs> so i'll let you hold this one and i'll hold this one this is a very cute mark jacobs athleisure looking yeah you don't have pack. to wear it as a fanny pack i mean it can be worn as a crossbody it could just be body. it can be you just it's so big you can actually hang on to it if you just wanted to but <laughs> the fact is you know it's very, they're very convenient if you think about it Absolutely. that's why they were in for such a long time yes <laughs> but they're not your dad's fanny pack anymore no they're not your dad's fanny pack and we did want to showcase one more thing and i'm going to help craig lift it up it is a luggage set Yes, yeah, so this is a, I want to say it's a five-piece luggage set by Nautica, and we'll actually be raffling this off, giving you to raffle off at your event. Yeah, so thank you so much, and thank you to Macy's for raffling this off. So, you know, if you're in the market for new luggage, that's an insensitive in of itself to come to Miramar Day, because I always say, you know, luggage is one of those things that, like, everyone hates buying. You, like, always call someone, like, hey, do you have a luggage that I can use? So now you can win your very own. 
Exactly. Which is exciting. Now, Cello Cello, we're so excited to have you incorporated in this as well. And this event is an international tour, so we have so many international artists coming up. Tell us how you'll be bringing that international flavor to the event. Oh, yes. I have to, I'm bringing the little, you know, when you have the Caribbean flavor, you put it inside of everything uh -huh. and just give it that kick. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm bringing. The same flavor I bought last year. This time I'm bringing the same flavor, but ten times better. Ten times better. Because every year better. it has to upgrade. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you'll be introducing a lot of our great uh, artists. Lots of them. And DJ Banks will be with you as uh -huh. well. Yeah, yeah, that's my DJ right there. Yeah, so they're a dynamic duo. And you're actually a comedian as well, correct? Sometimes. 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 Yeah. sometimes. He's very funny. <laughs> He's being shy on Good Morning Beer Bar, but you have to come and experience it because it, it's just a laugh and it'll keep keep the day going. Yes, and come on time. Because yes. trust me, when Five you come on time, you have more fun. And more more fun, more time to shop. Exactly. So you get a better chance a to win that too. I'm coming, I'm coming at 4.30 because I need one. <laughs> <laughs> I need one to travel. Yes. Now, Craig, tell us a little bit about some of the other Macy's activations. So... Some of the other Macy's activations happening this weekend, actually, we're going to be down at Cars and Coffee on Key Biscayne. Oh, fun. Um, so we look for different things. Uh, we have did Jazz in the Gardens. Mm -hmm. um, that's in our past. But we also just, we're, we're still on looking wherever we can go. So we're going to do a lot of corporate buildings, too, mm -hmm. because uh, everyone can't shop. And everyone's shopping online, and we want to make yeah. sure, you know, you get what you want. And what's better than having, like, Macy's right there? There's nothing better in my opinion. Instantaneous. Nothing better. Now, what else should we look forward to with Macy's coming up? Um, any, anything else, just more, more events, more fun. Anywhere you go, we want to have fun too. So just more fun, more just seeing the Macy's name branded there, that Macy's is there to help you out and make you fabulous and make you have fun. Yes, so Miramar Day is this Saturday, May 19th. Macy's will be there from start to finish. Yes, from 5 to 10. 5 to 10, start to finish. We want to see you there. We want you to meet Cello Cello. We want you to see our artists. We have Oro Solido, Regina Bell, who's going to be performing. It's going to be fantastic. As well as Kev and Willie Stewart, who we had on earlier this week. It's going to be a show that you don't want to miss in our beautiful amphitheater, Miramar Regional Park, 16801 Miramar Parkway. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Thank you. And thank you to all of you for tuning in to Good Morning Miramar. Remember, we're live every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Have a great day, and remember, it's right here in Miramar. Bye-bye. Right here. Right here. <laughs> right here.